What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactory Update 3 stuff. We're going to be checking out some new things. It's going to be a good time. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And if you want to be notified of all the video things, make sure you hit that bell icon because you have to do it, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, what are we checking out? We are going to check out the coupon factory. Now, I'm going to grab a few of these. And I know I need these for, uh, for, for this guy. However, these things are amazing when it comes to, uh, putting them into the resource sink. What do I, <laughs> uh, they're fantastic for putting into the resource sink and you can get quite a bit of, uh, well, you get quite a bit of points, but obviously like the more higher advanced the stuff is, the more points you get. So I put this together. This goes into a merger, which goes into here. So like this guy's just constantly running, making these uh, these copper deals, sending it in there. And as you can see, we're currently making 480, which is good because this guy's like completely backed up, you know, doing all the things. But check this out. Uh, what size is it gonna go from? Is it gonna go from, oh, does it go from the end first? Yes, it does. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So as you can see, I have 11 coupons printable. Now, what's crazy is once these things start coming in, you just wait. You just wait. Right now, we're making, what, 660 per minute-ish? Wait till these things start coming in. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be great. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, here they go. Here they come. They're going in. They're taking like 1,000 down. They're like taking like 1,200 down every single one. Our, our rate is gonna go through the roof. I think I got it up to like 58,000 per minute one time. It was amazing. But as you can see, every time you get one more coupon, it like, I don't even know. It like is 100% more points required. But still, I went through, uh, I think I went through like three stacks of these smart plates and I got, I got, I got the 11 coupons essentially. But uh, let's wait, let's see. Let, I wanna see what it, it goes up to. Cause like that's at 660 currently. Uh, and we're at four, we were at 480. And it'll go back to 480 as soon as these run out, but oh my gosh, it's fantastic. Where are we at? 41,210 per minute currently. We now have 13 principal coupons and we have three stored. So we're gonna go buy some things. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna wait a little bit because I think it's gonna go up a little bit higher than that. But guys, guys and gals, we are finally getting some decent coupons. We can go ahead, we can actually unlock some stuff and I'm super excited for it. All right, so we're out of the plates. We're back into the concrete. I was hoping it would update 41 to 10. I wanted to see if it went up higher than that. Don't know. Let's go ahead. Let's just print the 13 coupons. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. All right, let's go spend them. Let's go spend our coupons, our hard earned coupons. We have 16 of these bad boys. Now I am currently in the process of redoing the factory. So if you guys are interested, you guys want to see some actual factory building stuff, make sure you check out twitch.tv slash Z1 Gaming because we're going to be streaming over there probably a few times this weekend, honestly, because I want to get some stuff done. I want to get some new things checked out, but this is what we're rocking and rolling with. But I have a new system that I'm kind of working on right here. And basically it's going to have an input line on one side, output on the other side, very similar to uh, kind of like my last one, but each line is going to be a different resource. Anyways, let's go. Let's go buy some things. Enough of the talking. We got some things to buy. Also. I saw some comments about the jumping and I'm sorry, but you get around so much faster if you jump, it's insane. So the first thing we're gonna buy is this guy, the Fixic factory cart. Added to cart, cart, buy all. <laughs> we did it. We bought it. It's amazing. New equipment available. Now, I'm also curious, purchases, it doesn't show any purchases. I'm actually kind of curious because does that actually unlock anything else in the ways of like anything else? Like if you start spending stuff, do you actually get more stuff? Everything looks about the same still. Equipment and parts, industrial, there's the rotor and the reinforced iron plate. Was that there before? I think it was, but I don't think the rotor was there. <gasps> Super cool, all right. So let's hop out of there. What do we need to actually build this thing? Let's see, is it in here maybe? Factory cart. Oh, we only need two rotors for this bad boy? Oh my gosh. We have to build it. We absolutely must build it. <laughs> we have, we don't have a choice. All right, two rotors made, done skis. We have to go build it. <laughs> we, we must build this thing. All right, factory cart, build one. We have it. 
we're good. All right, let's get let's get this bad boy out, shall we? Uh, bring it into here, and I think we have to throw it in our hands. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> it is so cool. I love it. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is the coolest looking thing ever. <gasps> oh, it's so quick. Wait, it has a autopilot path. This is amazing. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so quick. It's so much fun to drive. I love it. And look, we can squeeze right through this. Whoop. No problem. I almost feel like we're smaller than what we would normally be. Oh, this is amazing. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Correct itself. Let's go up here. <laughs> does this thing have a damage? Oh, it does have health. Okay. It does have vehicle health. Oh my gosh, this thing is super cool. Oh my gosh, this is this is too cool. I absolutely love it. So, okay, what does it do as far as like this area? Oh, this is, oh gosh. Oh, it doesn't do good in sand. Does very bad in sand. Zero traction. Do, do not take it out. It is meant for factories and factories alone. I love how there's like this like this whole little tubing on one side that it, it uses to like fold up and stuff. Uh, oh no, can I pick it up? Uh oh. Uh, okay, hold on. We're gonna have to put, let's put a ramp real quick. All right, there we go. We should be good now. And a boop. <laughs> this thing is so much fun. Oh, I love it. It hurt. Does it have like a handbrake? No, okay. This thing is too much fun. That guy is way too much fun. Oh, does it have a horn? Oh my gosh. It has a light? Are you serious? That is the best thing ever. It has a little light. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like emergency. Quickly to the other side of the factory. Oh my gosh. You know, I gotta say it doesn't, it's not very top heavy. So it, it looks like it's working pretty decently. <gasps> oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay. Anyways, let's see what else we got in the shop here. Now, will it keep going if I hop out? No, but it has a flashing light. Okay. We can, we can deal with that. All right. Awesome shop. Now, is there any, is there anything else that I can buy? It says purchases. Hmm. So I really want the... I want the power poles and I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I really want right now. I would love to get these curved foundation packs. It'd be a lot of fun to uh, to play with those and with that that vehicle, obviously, like 100 percent. It'd be so much fun. <laughs> but uh, stairs, why are stairs in here now? That's super weird. Equipment, a coffee cup. Should we buy a coffee cup? Maybe. Maybe we should buy a coffee cup. Does that give us any abilities? Maybe it makes us like super quick. Let's get the power poles and let's get the coffee cup added to cart cart by all my gosh we've done it coffee cup acquired and i think that's all we really have room for okay let's put it in there now can i build the coffee cup like if i go into here is, is the coffee cup a buildable item no it's actually not okay that's kind of kind of crazy like what happens if you lose the coffee cup oh <gasps> cup Oh my goodness. Look at our beautiful coffee cup. It won't spill. <gasps> it's the best kind of coffee cup. Does it make you run faster? I don't feel like it does. I don't think it does anything. I think it's purely for looks. <gasps> Can we take our coffee cup while we're... Wait, what? Golf cart inventory. Puny vroom? <laughs> uh, oh. Press button to interact with golf cart. Wait. Oh, so you can press the button back. Oh, okay. So you can press the back of it and pick the thing back up. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. Now, I don't think we really have anything else in here that we need to worry about. And let's see. Do we have anything else that we can build that's super amazing? So I think that one of the biggest things that we're going to need right now is 
probably the basic steel production. The vehicular transport is going to be cool. I don't know that I really need that right now. I mean, maybe, but we I want to get some steel production stuff going. And oh, man, we need 150 rotors. Jeez Louise. OK, so I might have to do some more factory building stuff. Oh, you know what? I just remembered somebody commented and said something. They said if you that you should put a fix it ticket into the resource sink. So I don't want to do this, but we're going to for the sake of science and see what happens. All right, let's put it right there. OK, it's coming in. There's the fix it ticket. Is it going to do anything? Maybe it'll give me like a free like 100 tickets. That would be amazing. That would be a super cool little Easter. I doubt that. that's not going to happen. But they said that I needed to put this in here and something would happen. Where's it at? There it is. There it is. There it is. Hey, what's it going to do? Milestone. Cyber wagon available. What? Incorporated does not waste. As a reward for you. Your creative input. Creative input. I have been given permission to grant, grant you a gift. You can find it in the awesome store. I what? hope you like it. It was my first solo project. What? It said cyber wagon. It, it's a cyber. It's to. <laughs> I thought they were trolling with this. I thought they were just trolling when this when the cyber truck got announced. Oh my gosh, we have to make this thing. But what do you need to actually build it? I feel like you have to have like the vehicles unlocked, you know, because like we don't have any fuel or anything like that. So and it needs 20 tickets. I don't have anything. Gosh, I don't have anything worth that many tickets right now. Like I'm just trying to think if there's literally anything that I could put in here that would cause it to have to, to be able to get that. Like even if I put all of these in there and like all of I don't have hardly I mean, I don't have hardly any rotors or anything like that. How many how many are in here? Uh, we have a little bit, but we're not 20 tickets. Oh my gosh, I feel like we need it. I feel like we absolutely need it. So I was kind of looking at what I had in my inventories and stuff. I don't think there's any way we're going to be able to get 20 more tickets right now. I don't think it's going to happen. We're just we're just not getting stuff enough and these things require so much now so we're gonna wait on building that i'm gonna try to build that in the next episode but in order to get things rock and rolling we're gonna need to do some factory building so i want to make i want to get one of these lines up and running and this is my idea like i kind of talked about before so a little bit of factory building here hopefully you guys enjoyed this part if you do you know all the fun things i love this thing this thing is absolutely hilarious fix it it's it's so great okay so the plan i think that i'm gonna rock and roll with is I want to put the smelters all over here on this side, just massively smelting. And then the smelters go into storage bins like this. And then we're going to take those storage bins because these are all tier one items. So they only require one item to be crafted except for cable. Cable's going to require two and we'll figure that out later. But essentially each one of these lines. So this is going to be a line. That's a line. That's a line. They're all going to be making the same item. And we're going to have like one conveyor for input, one conveyor for output. And I think that'll work. I'm just trying to think of how many I actually want of these things. So I have one, two, three on this one. Currently, I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking maybe five per line. So we're only going to work on one line right now. I'm only going to get this one line up and going, you know, proof of concept kind of thing and make sure it's good to go before I start doing all the other stuff. Oh, you know what? I have the little vehicle. I keep forgetting I have this uh, guys. I, <laughs> I literally had one wheel holding on. That's so funny. <laughs> I love this thing. It's so funny. All right. So I'm actually running out of plates, which is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. So I think this first line is going to be plates. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to do five of these things. You know what we need to do? Let's do five of them. We're going to do five of them. We're going to make it happen. We got to go big because we're going to need more later anyways. So let's just get it done now. All right. So there's four. Let's go ahead and get the four fifth one in here so just put this guy up here that guy is going to be an output so it's going to go on that side and then we're going to go ahead and grab one more of these where is it at uh it's production what am i doing what am i even doing here also we have the uh the wall deal now too i want to say it's like right there is that the right distance i believe so let's see let's check it and it is fantastic that right there like that I wanted to leave one space in between these. I could move it a space closer, but then these would all be blocked off. and wouldn't be able to access anything. And I'm not about that. <laughs> I'm not about that. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put one more here. 
because the idea is that the right one i hope so the idea is that it's scalable so if i need to do more stuff i can and i'm going to put storage units all the way out here so we should at least be able to get if we need to we can get two more machines in here we can always build that way i don't think it'll be uh too big of a deal now i wish i had the industrial storage deal but i don't have that yet and we will get it at eventually we'll get it eventually all right so we have our storage there we're gonna have our line run from all the way down there and whoop right on in here but i gotta get the i gotta get the the stuff put up for it so i need to get a line ran next to it figure out how far away it needs to be from the actual actually no we could probably run in right here in between these have two of them because we're gonna have an input and an output so yeah we'll just we'll just go ahead and use these oh you know what i am so i am so low on plates right now it is absolutely ridiculous let's go ahead oh, should we get rid of this no because this is making my oh this is making my stuff this is making my reinforced plates which i'm gonna need later you know what we're taking apart i don't care i need plates we need plates way too much you know what we're gonna go ahead and overclock this bad boy too you know actually with overclocking that I could probably hook this guy right back up. Uh, let's just do that. Let's just hook this guy right back up like that. Let's let it do its thing because I think this will actually get filled up. This is, I think is running faster than what it needs upstairs. Yeah, this only needs 30 per minute. That's producing 50 per minute. So we should have 20 per minute extra. That's once this is filled up, it's not going to be able to hold anymore and it's going to back up. It'll be good. Okay, cool. looks like, yeah, screws are backed up too. Fantastic. Maybe I should just go ahead and put a splitter on this guy. I don't know if I need the smart plating. I feel like I'm going to, but do I need it right? Yeah, let's just leave it. All right, so let's put some of these guys down like that. I think that will be high enough. Now, this is going to be the output. So the output I'm gonna want above it, and these are gonna be the input of a different machine. So the input of this one's gonna be lower, output higher I think that's how we're gonna run with it and let's just go ahead and place some more of these guys down and then let's just make sure all right so I think it's gonna be on the highest highest one and we're gonna run it to right here and then we should be able to Ooh, ooh, that's not gonna work I wasn't paying attention that's not gonna work there because these can't be right next to a uh oh actually you know what I gotta pay attention to that so I can't have these next to either of these because we're gonna have to put a splitter. So we're just gonna put them like directly in betwixt in this in this inside of the machine deal we'll put it right there. All right, so that should be good. Nothing should be in the way. So let me go ahead and put one here like that. We can run another one down over here like that. And then we have to run another one down here. However, this one's gonna be a little bit different because I don't need a splitter on it, but I need to make sure that I can turn it into the storage deal, into the uh, the conveyor going down. So like that, and then right into that guy. Boom, it's gonna drop in storage there. Fantastic. And then we're gonna do the same thing pretty much on all of these. So once I get the first line done, I'm just gonna copy like what I did over. Now, unfortunately there's no like, uh, like a copy thing. Like, oh, that'd be amazing. Can you imagine if you could like select these, copy, line it up and then paste it and just be done with it oh that'd be so nice and then so for this side this one i think is actually gonna be the last one so we can just turn straight into this guy so we can go from right here into there that'll go down in and then these are gonna go out now we have to get the splitters hooked up and then we have to get the actual resources hooked up as well and my plan for the resources is like i said we're gonna have those uh those smelters over there and wait what okay good i was about to say like what's going on here <gasps> oh no Oh no, that'll work. It'll work. Okay. Because I think there's enough room there for a splitter. Uh, let's get this guy out of here. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's put the little siren on it. Emergency. Okay. We're fine. <laughs> let's take it back off. Uh, so we're gonna have to put something right up here. Actually, if I, oh, if I did this right, I should have actually moved these back here, but you know what? I don't want to mess with them right now. Now that they're like already built. So let me just, let me just get these stacked in like right here somewhere. All right. So like that, and then we're going to put a, uh, splitter on here, there, 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 and that one. Well, we don't need one on the last one. So four splitters on this side and then mergers on this side. So we can get all the resources. Boom. Take it right over there. 
not a big issue. And then we're actually probably going to just go ahead and throw a conveyor right here like that. And that's going to take the stuff up there for now, for now, uh, because I don't know where these are going to be. Actually, I don't know if we're going to have the resources over here or this close. Yeah, I don't I don't really know yet, actually, because we could run them on the top like that. So the whole factory is kind of like the lines are all ran above us. I feel like that would look better. All right, so I got the splitters placed right there and I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. Oh, you know what? On all of these other ones, I'm going to have to lower this by one because the output's going to be up one and the input is going to be down one. So I'm going to actually have to lower these on the next row, but for now we're okay. Uh, for now we should be just fine so we can go ahead and get all, all these guys connected up oh that one's actually one lower oh so we might not actually have to do that yeah we, we shouldn't have to do that then if it if it'll work one lower that'll be fantastic because we don't have to mess with it we can try to keep them all the same all right so all the outputs are placed all the inputs are placed we need to get power to these things but we have the new hey you've been playing for two hours <laughs> thanks for letting me know power okay what do these power poles take rods go figure rods of copper wire. i don't have any rods with me like i have almost no rods can i not oh <gasps> is that a wall oh no i want a ceiling one darn it are there ceiling ones no there's a power wall but there's not a, a ceiling one wait can you put no you can't put the things on the ceiling can you can you put the power poles on the ceiling i don't think so no you cannot darn it i was hoping they had a ceiling one so i could just hang the wires right over the top of all of these so i'm gonna have to run power poles anyways oh that's that's grody that's just wrong it just feels wrong okay well i mean i guess it is what it is so i need to go through and power all these though all right so proof of concept it's terrible it looks horrible i know the conveyor belt's going everywhere but i just want to make sure that this is actually going to work i think it will now the only issues that i'm going to run into early game is not being able to supply five machines with one resource but i think as we go along i'm going to have more smelters and more things going into more belts and we can get faster belts so hopefully that'll kind of fix the situation once we get to that point. But all of these should, should in theory, fill those up and then they should produce plates that then go to the storage all the way down here. And then we're going to, we're, we're just going to rinse, wash, repeat on this one. All right. So this guy's filling up resources coming in, resources going out making 20 per minute this guy resources coming in coming in i don't think these are probably filled yet not quite yet but once the uh the first ones get full then they'll just kind of spill over and go to the uh the next one here all right so hey plates already on their way <laughs> all right cool that looks good and then we should have plates coming on in here and we should actually have pretty decent plate flow honestly it shouldn't be too terrible uh once especially once all those things get filled up and we get faster belts and things like that going but it should these things should be pumping out as faster than we can even make the iron right now i think so it would appear as though every one of these spots is oh one spot right there wasn't full it looks like we are moving plates at the belt capacity currently because if each machine is putting out 20, that means there's five machines. That means it's putting out 100 per minute. So there should be 100 of these guys per minute. And none of them are overclocked. So that means we have slugs to play with here. We have three slugs or three power shards. So we should be good. Now I just have to get this guy ran up. And then we're going to bring the ceiling out all the way over here. Going to end it probably right here. And then or actually we'll probably end it right here. Because I think I'm going to put industrial storages here to hold like a bulk of it. And then whoop, shoot it up and then go into the machines that we need for upstairs. But that's going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Like I said, we're probably going to be streaming uh, actually today on Twitch. So twitch.tv slash gaming. Head over there. Leave a follow if you guys want to be notified of the live stream stuff. But more factory building to come. I just want to get things organized a little bit better. I like what we have going here, but I got, more, I got so much more machines to build. So many more... Uh, conveyors to run and things like that so i'm pretty excited i'm super excited hopefully you guys are too but you have a fantastic weekend and i'll see you in the next one